Hello, beautiful star seeds and sensitives. I want to help out during this time of high energy and high activation because we are experiencing a lot of energy right now. A lot of energy that is uh, coming in to our planet, a lot of energy that we are receiving in our physical and etheric bodies. Um, those around us are <laughs> in lots of energy and then we have all sorts of different challenges and uh, things that are showing up around the planet in this transformational time. And so I wanted to create uh, some self-care and just talk about this, about um, let's talk about how to care for yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. So let's start physically. Um, you're, all of us are feeling um, different things happening in our body, different systems, different um, are being activated. Again, it can be mentally, emotionally, uh, feeling different pains in our body, feeling releases happening, feeling um, tension growing, feeling the, uh, being empathic and feeling everything else that's going on in the collective or with your friends and partners and um, you know, there's just, just, first of all, let's just accept, uh, there's a lot of shit going on right now. And so just take a nice deep breath and be with me here for a minute. Just, just come in and really zone in to you and me having a conversation right now or me talking to you. Um, and you can be talking back to me. I don't care, but, but listen with your body listen with your intuition feel into what i'm saying because there's lots of information that's coming in that don't have words that come with it that can help you calm your nervous system down that can help you be present right here right now so physically and we're all different, that's the other thing. So we might have some things in common that we're experiencing, that we're feeling, that we're um, experiencing in the world, how we see it. And then we might have some things that are just very different. And I want you to realize, or this is what I have discovered in this process, is that we're all going through our own process and nobody else can take us through this and nobody else can do the work for us and we're not to do the work for anybody else. So take a nice breath into that right now and just feel like I'm, let your body feel I'm not responsible for anybody else. And take another nice deep breath all the way down to your belly, um, slow five, seven count all the way, filling your lungs, and then a slow exhale. And I want you to breathe in through your nose because that oxygen goes to your brain then. It's better for you. And if you want, breathe out through your nose or your mouth, it's up to you. And in combination with discussing the physical, I also want to talk about the mental and the emotional here because we need to stop um, resisting feeling what's going on with us. And so, and it's a program, so don't be compassionate towards yourself, but really how you can best help yourself right now is to feel what you're feeling. You don't have to relive it. You don't have to name it. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to um, understand it. It's just allowing yourself to feel it. So just for one moment here, feel like it's all right for my body to feel overwhelmed by all the stuff that's happening in the world. Just feel, let that come in. Like it's okay body for you to feel the overwhelm on all the energies that are coming in. It's okay to feel overwhelmed by that. It's okay to feel stressed by that. It's okay to feel some chaos by that, not some, any chaos. 
right? It's okay to feel out of sorts. It's okay to feel expansive and joyful with it when others don't, aren't. Breathe into that. Physically, rest when you feel tired. Don't push yourself. Like I've been wanting to make a video, one of these, this one of this one, and and multiple others. And I, it just you know you you have to start listening to your intuition and follow the what your body it, it, is your body ready to be expansive is your body ready to put out or do you need to come in and cocoon and feel and cry and laugh and nurture yourself and eat um a certain way um i'm ta i i'm i'm uh, you know, physically I'm eating, I'm checking in to not be doing things out of addictions. And then sometimes, at least if I do something out of an addiction, like wanting some chocolate, I'm aware that I'm doing it out of addiction so that I'm making more conscious choices. And I'm finding that that really supports me. That supports me, uh, I, I'm, I find my system isn't upset with it. And there's balance, you know, one day might be, um, you know, having dark chocolate. The next day uh, might be, um, you know, wanting to spend time alone. I'm, I'm just paying attention. What does, what does my body need? Ask me. And it's all right to meet the needs of your body. So let's breathe on that one. It's okay for me to be self-centered with myself. It's okay to be the object of my attention. It's okay to care for me. It's okay to feel love and compassion for me. It's okay to not feel like doing anything. It's okay to feel bored. It's okay to feel alive and creative. It's okay to to feel something and not take action. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. Ah, and if you want, let that out. That helps the vagus nerve to do that again. Ah, that physically, if you put your hands on your belly and stuff and breathe all the way down to your belly, that vibrates your vagus nerve, which calms you down. Also for your physical and mental and spiritual being is get out in nature. Spend as much time as you can or you desire um, getting out in nature and um, whether it's gardening, hiking, swimming, um, just sitting and reading a book, putting your feet in the dirt or in the grass, um, playing with an animal, watching the birds, the sky, the clouds, that's really important. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more of the physical. I'll go, some of these weave in and out. Let's go to emotional or mental too. Is as sensitives, you know, a lot of us, uh, a lot of us are, you know, need our quiet time. We need our quiet time. We need our away time. And COVID has created a lot of away time, but it's really important we're, we're in a stage we're for our mental health and well-being and also creating unity, creating a, a more connected, um, uh, unified uh, community. We need to start connecting with others in deep ways. And so I would highly recommend whether you can get with them physically or just, um, you know, calling on the phone and being with people. I highly recommend that you start putting yourself out there if you haven't already, um, you know, and you'll feel the nudge like, oh, I wish I could talk to Susie or um, go for a walk with Jim or, you know, it's just like follow. But then you go, oh, but I like, you know, watch that. If you get that inspiration, start watching and observing your inspirations and um and paying attention like why would you deny yourself that 
is there a real reason to not do that? Um, have you gotten comfortable not being around people and you're thinking that being around people are going to drain you? So, and you're going to find a group of people that won't drain you, that will inspire you, that will, um, you know, um, meet your, help, help you with your, uh, raise your vibration and frequency and, um, enjoy, enjoy life. We need to find those things and start getting out and doing those things that really fuel us, that feed us, that, um, fill our hearts that our soul wants to do. And that is really important. And then spiritually, it's getting in touch with your soul. I'm going to go back. Okay, so getting in touch with your soul is first, let's ground ourselves. That's a physical thing. Grounding ourselves into the earth and being around the earth. The grounding is really important. Feeling ourselves connected to Mother Earth or to everything and to feel connected to ourselves, that again, spiritually, and then feeling connected to others, and then feeling, again, connected to that, our higher selves, source, God, spirit, whatever you call it, quantum field, you know, feeling all those connections, and wherever there, there feels like there's a less of a connection, you might, then that's where you can put, start putting some of your energy and saying, if I'm doing this for my highest good, or my, my, to feed my soul what would I want in this area of my life just ask your ask that take a nice deep breath and let it out slowly or you can do that ah and spiritually it is feeling your feelings it is feeling what's what's important to you like it's okay for your body to, to have needs, to ask for what you want. It's all right, all right for you to have good things in your life. It's all right for you to feel comfortable, pampered, honored, loved unconditionally. And that unconditional love starts with you. We don't, we don't, we don't need it from somebody else right now. This is our, our spiritual awakening is learning how, how to unconditionally love ourselves and how to meet the world in that, um, with that unconditional love and, and feed, be feeding our soul. So the first work right now, what's so important with all of this going on, this is why walk your own path, do your own thing. I, I catch myself all the time. Oh, thinking about my partner Jeff or thinking about my kids or thinking about friends and stuff and I'm like oh nope come back on your path you're on your path so I would say I have my path my partner Jeff's path my kids path I have two children so two two other paths and then friends all over here and I'll find myself over here walking well what are you know well why isn't he doing that or what you know what are they doing or something and I'm like no come back here Come back to be on my path because I can't see what's right and good for me from from other people's paths I can't feel me because my attention and intention is on them and not on me and right now this whole thing besides the reaching out and connecting and um, unifying in a certain way um, which I don't want to go into now because really it's the work right now is for you and for you in the, in the physical, the, the mental, emotional, and spiritual, what is happening is that we're having things are being brought up. So those feelings that are coming up, the anger that's coming up, the resentment, the, the shame, the guilt, all of that stuff is coming up in order for you to just to release it. So it's not coming up to say, see, you are a bad person. See, you did this. Oh my God, how could you have done that? How embarrassing, you know, whatever it is. You're not enough. You're not worthy. You're not lovable. That's not true. It's coming up to show you that that's your programming. And they're shining the light. Just think the sun, the light that's coming in is shining the light on all of the areas that are not aligned with who you truly are. 
and that there's this this energy that's coming in is cracking open this box that you've been living in this box that, that have, has all the rules and all the labels and all the all the ways you should be and shouldn't be and um, you know what people have put on you other people have put on you and then you thought think uh, is you and what's happening is that light is, that pressure is coming in and the light within you is getting activated and you're lighting up and it's kind of like creating creating this transformational energy that is transforming from the outside as well as from the inside so things are coming up things are being activated within you in your cells in your dna every aspect of your body that's why you'll have pains all over there's memory there's um, activations that are happening that affect that there's uh, also you'll you'll start to notice that you have opportunities that are coming in that will come in to help you alleviate those if you're aware and don't keep focusing on oh my knee or my shoulder or whatever just start focusing on how do i meet my needs and how do i take care of myself what is the best way mind body spirit emotions how to serve this vessel that i am and the soul within this vessel that i am and that that um you know, realizing again, we're all on all on this path, or, or on uh, going through this experience. We're all at different stages. People are going to be freaking out, angry. You know, different things. They're doing different things. It's 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 um, that that they don't feel they have control over. And then there's other people who are in a different stage where they have more control over it and they're understanding and they're doing the work and they're going through it. And then there's others that are ahead of that. And, you know, we're all in these different stages and we're coming together and just seeing that, you know, every, every um, experience that you have is a time for you to practice being present. So that's another, it's being present, being here right now, not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, not being in fear, not being anxious through your thoughts. So, and in this presence, what's gonna happen is that you're feeling what you're experiencing right here in the now, and that's going to give you information. That's gonna give you information that, oh, I have this, I'm feeling anxious right now, and I'm just, it's okay for myself to feel anxious. And you know, by the way, this is a, a nice way to calm you down, just feel like it's like a butterfly pat, and you can just cross your fingers and then just pat yourself um, right on your, on your chest, very softly, just kind of give a little pat. And you see that calms your nervous system down. But just saying like, it's okay for me to be feeling this. That's all you have to do. And the other, or, and then, and another way that you can do that too is like, um, is that I choose love. Instead of being in fear or judging that I have this feeling, I choose to love myself in this moment feeling this feeling. Or I choose to deeply care about myself. Or I choose to surrender to this feeling right now. And what you're gonna notice is that the feeling will process and then something else will come up. And, and it might be another feeling that's just right underneath that, or it might be an inspiration to um, call somebody or to go do something that is um, inspiring for you or take a bubble bath, a nurturing. So, I'm trying to think, this is probably, I think this is, is enough for right now. Um, let me see, is there something else that you need to hear? tears are good again call a friend that you can trust that you know get a buddy so that you can just call and just say can i just you know cry with you or i don't feel like being alone right now um support um you know support is huge again you can join my patreon group at uh, patreon at marilyn o'malley uh, um, and and come be a part of our group and we do something every week that helps to support, um, do meditations, have coaching, but also just finding a friend or finding a group or joining a group or doing something like if you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just being called to be an artist, join an art class. 
You're gonna be amazed at what just simple little things, changes that come up. Um, not following through on having that drink every night. You might just notice instead of having the drink, sit down and feel what I'm feeling when I'm wanting that drink. Um, you know, like I noticed too, I was like, I'm missing out on fun. I need some more fun in my life. I, I have things I do that I love to do, but I, I'm missing out on the laughing. I'm missing out on like freedom flow, the stuff I used to do when I was traveling a lot. Um, or just, you know, with big groups of people, like just having fun and meeting a bunch of different people that I didn't know. I love to do that. Um, and uh, be laughing and hearing stories and sharing stories in person. I am a people person. But I used to think, I want to share this with the sensitives, with you guys, is as a sensitive, I used to think I was super shy. So I know that there's about seven, they say about 70% of highly sensitives are are shy are, are introverts and 30 percent extroverts but i think once you learn how to manage your energy in a way i think that there's a lot more and might not be extrovert but i don't think you're as shy as you think you are i mean you can still be an introvert but i think that there are very strong um sensitive leaders in businesses and out in the world and coming up that, but you, we just need to know how to manage our mind so that it's not a runaway wild stallion with all sorts of crazy ideas that drains us um, and manage our energy so we know when we, can, we, we're, we're, we have the capacity and the energy to go out and do what we need to do and then we also know how to take care of ourselves and how to relax and nourish ourselves and what's, what's best. Um, and, and that... Um, inspires us and that helps us be who we are okay so i think that i think that's enough don't want to overdo it and anyway there's so much i mean there's so much i want to share and as you can see i can keep going on but here's just a quick overview of things you can do um, and manage and i hope um, if you have any questions leave them below or get in touch with me or join my Patreon group or if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching um, reach out to me and give me a, a, a call and let's set up a free discovery time so um, until we meet again love, live, and matter take care